when I first heard about Reiki, I thought, yeah, right. It's one of them weird, you know, woo woo, <laughs> you know, kooky kind of thing. I just wasn't paying it no mind. I even went for a session and I didn't believe anything was going to happen. I was just like, eh. You know, just because you're my friend and you're doing it, and I'm just going to check it out, you know, support your business. I didn't think anything was going to happen. Uh, I actually fell asleep. And I don't fall asleep anywhere. It's just, it's hard for me to fall asleep in strange places, you know, on buses. You know, it's just, even when I go to a different place, it's hard for me to fall asleep. But I fell asleep on her table. So, you know, that was, that was interesting. But I didn't feel any particular energy in terms of vibration or anything. So, you know, to me it was just, it was a nice little nap. Didn't really think too much about it. I think it was maybe, maybe a year later. I mean, throughout, before the year was up, you know, I was being spoken to about it from my husband, who wasn't my husband at the time. Um, but he was talking about it from time to time and you know sometimes you hear more people and you just nod and you just nod but after we kind of got more involved and we started talking more about different energies um and he started to talk about actually taking a course you know i still wasn't really all that sure about it for me, I have to experience something or I have to feel something, experience it, and, you know, have a way to talk about it and relate to it before I can be out there and talking about it. So while he was away taking his course, uh, I ended up in the library and I came across this book about Ricky. I wasn't even looking for it. I was looking for something else. And I thought, oh, this is kind of cool. So I, you know, took it out of the library, signed it out of the library, and um, I started reading it. And I was like, wow, this is a really good book. And then through some of the exercises that the book was talking about, I was actually able to feel my own energy isn't that strange you 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 are energy but you don't really necessarily feel your own energy and i'll give you an example you know sometimes when you're walking with your socks right and it's winter and you're scraping your feet on the carpet and then you touch the doorknob and you go to touch the doorknob you can feel the electricity jump from your finger to the doorknob and you get a shock that's energy. But can you imagine feeling that when you put your hands together and you can actually feel your own energy? It's like, it's really amazing. To me, it was amazing. It's just great. So that was my really first experience. And then when my husband did his class and he got his attunement and he started talking about the wonderful experience that he had, I thought, well, I'd like to have that too. So I did a course for myself. I, um, I went to another Reiki teacher and I did the course. I did level one and two and I honestly didn't feel anything. And I was a little bit disappointed because, you know, when I heard the way the experience my husband had and how great it was and, you know, how powerful it was for him, I wanted the same for myself, but I wanted to experience it for myself. And I thought, you know, if I went to a Reiki master and I did the course, I would feel that. But I didn't feel that. And so I put it aside for a little bit. Until much later on, I decided, okay, I was going to do the course. But this time, I was actually going to travel to New York and actually take the course with the same teacher that my husband did his course with just because you know they seem to have a lot more experience they you know they seem to know what they're doing and so um 
it's not to say that Reiki, you know whoever's teaching Reiki is not gonna know what they're doing or they don't have the experience it's not like that for all of the different teachers it's just that I think you have to go with your intuition you know if you feel connected or if you feel some kind of a connection then you should follow that but if you're not feeling anything but you're just curious you can go with that, with that too I mean it just depends um, so this time around um, I decided to go but um, I wasn't going with any expectations because his his experience sound is so fantastical that I was just like I, I don't think I would I don't think that's gonna be my experience and I don't want to set myself up for disappointment so I just went with the intention to be open to whatever my experience is going to be and I have to tell you it was amazing you know I actually cried and I don't cry in public I don't cry in public <laughs> But it was that amazing and I felt this feeling of like a baptism. Like that's the only thing I can really compare it to because it felt like I was being baptized. I felt that energy kind of wash over me. You know, came to the felt like my head, like my skull was open and the energy just poured down into me. And I felt so loved and so accepted that I started to cry. So that was that was one of the most powerful experiences for me. And I remember that. And uh, I will always have that feeling. And each time that I practice and each time that I, you know, do my Reiki baths and, you know, Anytime I do a session with a client, you know, I just have that feeling again. And so when I eventually have my students, I hope that their experience is going to be just as powerful for them, whatever that might be.